Okay, so now that I've gone ahead and I have picked up a whole parcel of potatoes, we actually have so many to go ahead and sell. Look at all of those. Oh my gosh, 1,000 gold in potatoes. Oh, that's fantastic. And our strawberries and onions are going to bring in even more money. Oh, you guys, we are doing a lot better than I thought we would with selling things on our little farm. And we've got plenty of places to go ahead and plant even more crops, hopefully when we get more seeds in the morning. And actually, speaking of ways we can make money, we have been getting so many titles in town. I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go in town and we're going to try to get ourselves some good titles. And I wanna take a present of some kind over to Sally. So maybe we can like just make Sally a little bit happier and maybe work on getting a better friendship with her. Let's try giving her maybe this tulip. And, oh, 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 is the mayonnaise almost done? <gasps> maybe she might like mayonnaise. How much would this mayonnaise be worth though? Let's double check. Because we have a lot of things that we're going to be taking care of here on our little moss leaf mm, wild farm. <gasps> That's what we're going to call it. The wild farm. The moss leaf wild farm. Yes, that'll be perfect. Here in Olive Town. Okay, that actually, um, huh. That man is 140 gold. Let's start with the tulip and we can work our way up to the mayonnaise if she's still not very impressed by the uh, the tulip. But welcome back to Olive Town, everyone. Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, also known as SOS Poot. And today we are gonna try our best to upgrade our ax so that we can try to get enough lumber to rescue the horse. I am so tickled that there is actually a little horse, of course, who needs to have his own stable. And if I could ride a mount all over the place instead of just having to run on my own two little feetsies, we probably would have a chance to visit with so many more of the villagers. So many more. How are you doing today, Jason? Our guests tend to check into the hotel around this time of day, so I've usually got my hands full. It's about that time of year when we start getting more tourists. I need to hoist Sal and go full speed ahead. Oh, have I already talked to him today? What the heck? Did I already give Sally her present? Oh, I think I've already given Sally her present for the day. Oh, I have. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? We'll go ahead and talk to Blair and we'll give Blair the tulip then. I didn't realize we'd already visited today because it's just been heckin' so busy. All right, and pardon me, Sally. I hope you don't mind that I'm coming into your room. Hi there. Farms are so inspiring. I can see yours has a big effect on you. You're clearly dreaming big. Oh, Sally is quite kind. And Blair is their daughter. So let's go ahead and say hello to her. I want to boast about how shiny the town hall is now. Except everyone I know is a local, so I can't. Oh, here you go, Blair. Huh? A present from me? Oh, I'm ready to drop. I mean, walking around all day in those heels in a cafe, I cannot blame you, Blair. Ah, oh, but alright, so we'll go ahead and leave everybody here and head up to the town hall now so we can go ahead and see if there's any new villager requests that I can actually fulfill since I do not yet know how to refine coal and that was Laura's request. What the heck Laura, the workaholic, is doing as a tour guide with a lump of coal? I have no idea. We'll just leave that to the imagination. But let's see what we can get back from the titles really quickly. <gasps> There's so many! Look at all of these! Novice Tiller! We have tilled the soil ten or 50 times. We have Water Bringer! We've watered our crops 300 times and now we have some new flowers. Yes! Lumberjack actually gives us another lumber maker, which we need. Lover of Beauty from cutting the grass 100 times has given us, I think, a yarn maker. Sincerely yours from giving residents 50 presents has given us a beautiful like gemstone necklace. What? A pioneer's work is never done. Clear away the big fallen trees. And that has given us five silver ingots. Yes, that can actually go towards helping us with building the bridge. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so that was actually really good for us. And any new request? Oh, Raul needs some solid logs. Ooh, that's 400 gold. You know what? We might rush back to... Oh, and these are tea seedlings? <gasps> okay. 
how long can I plant these tea seedlings for? Spring, summer, and autumn. Yes, we're gonna plant these as soon as we get back home. And petunia seeds, flower seeds that can be sown in summer. With proper care, they'll bloom into green, green petunias, green flowers. <gasps> that would definitely be one of the things that I would be extremely thrilled to get. There's also a jewelry locket. A gift as fancy as this is sure to be well received. Hmm. And then we've got a thread maker. This contraption automatically converts grass into thread. Insert any type of grass, wait a bit, and voila. Okay, so we actually do have some grass we could go ahead and try to turn into thread. And then we have the free lumber maker. Nice. All right, let's go get some solid logs that we can go ahead and turn in so that Raul will be happy with us and we can get that bit of money. And then in the morning, I think we're actually going to go and expand our storage. Maybe get ourselves another animal. Maybe manage to snag ourselves some seeds. All right, let's see what do we have here. All right, there's supple log. And we have exactly three solid logs. Perfect. Meanwhile, down here, we can go ahead and get... Ooh, and the supple log. Ooh, okay, we can get one supple log made. That'll probably take a long time to do. And we'll go ahead and get those working. Let's put away the petunia seeds and the jewelry locket for now. Oh, and we can put down the other lumber maker. Yes! This place is going to look a little busy, but it's our research zone. Oh, thinking about it as a research zone makes me feel a lot less stressed about having all this clutter around here. We're going to keep that magic blue flower for now. And then we'll go ahead and put down this thread maker. Also another research zone subject. And you insert grass to get thread. I wonder if we can make money off that thread because that would be kind of useful. Fun. Okay, so let's go get the money from turning in these logs. And then we will, oh, look at the alpaca. And then we will wake up in the morning. We now have the silver ingots. And instead of saving those for the silo or the bridge, let's actually go and use it to upgrade our ax. And I can't remember, I think we just get the instant upgrade. Like you don't have to wait several days to be able to like get it back. <laughs> Which almost feels cheatsy because that's that's much different than how you normally have to wait in most of the different farms we have taken care of. However, maybe we're just trading our axe in. That makes more roleplay sense to me. And Raul, three solid logs. Ah, and 400 gold. Not gonna complain about that. All right. Next up, planting some tea seedlings and then a good long nap. Hmm, I wonder, I bet Nguyen, Nguyen, who, I think this is actually a picture of his head, <laughs> who works at the flower store, I think he might really enjoy getting some tea. Oh, and definitely that like old timey, old time Japanese uh, family. I think that Dosetsu, Dosetsu, that's his name. I think he would enjoy getting some tea too. Yay! And this actually fills up a whole bunch of our little spots. Excellent! Okay, so with all of that done, it is almost midnight, so I probably want to go ahead and go to sleep soon. We've got the supple lumber started! Yay! Alright, we'll leave the supple log here. And I'll also leave the supple lumber here. And we've got normal lumber. We're doing pretty good, you guys. I'm really happy with this. And our thread maker isn't quite like done getting the thread ready, but that's okay. All right, maybe we'll go ahead and chop down a couple trees. I just have so much energy. It seems a bit of a waste to go to sleep so early. <laughs> I'm not setting a good example because you definitely should be going to sleep if, oh, sugar cane. <gasps> Let's see if we can get a sugar cane maker going so that we can have sugar to make gifts for everybody. Of course, that's probably one of the lessons that sweet Sally is actually giving us about being able to cook more, is that we need to have more things available. Here's a powder maker, that we probably need to have more makers available so we can get more ingredients. I love that idea that maybe that's what she's teaching us. All right, what about this one, sugar cane? So in order to make this, 
We just need five solid lumber, and I'm pretty sure we have that. All right, we're gonna say that that is actually the lesson that we have been taught by Sally today. Get yourself some solid lumber, darling. Make yourself a lovely sugarcane maker. There we go, we'll cut down a couple of these trees. Because I really would love to be able to make a whole bunch of delicious fruit compote and all sorts of sweets. Chop, chop, chop. And that's more like it. Come on, we're gonna put that energy to use, even if it is almost one in the morning. <laughs> All right. And we'll head back home. And in the morning, this iron ax is getting an upgrade, that's for sure. All right, now we can go ahead and insert some solid logs. Just like so. The thread is actually being made. Oh, we can try selling the thread and see if that sells for anything. I love being a little pioneer and just trying to like figure out the best things that we can do to take good care of our home. Oh, and I do need a little bit more solid lumber, so I'm glad we went ahead and we got that. All right, there we go, another solid log. And then we can make the hopefully really fun sugar cane maker in the morning. All right, and the thread, well, it sells for three gold, so we'll probably hold on to the thread for now because I don't think it's gonna make us a lot of money. All right, time to go to bed. And we need to check in on our harvest sprites soon too. I actually did check in on them yesterday. I assigned the three that we have managed to bring into existence on the farm. I like the idea we're growing them in our wild farm to the grass harvest sprite so that we can start working on leveling up the grass harvest sprite as well. And look at all that money! Oh, our farm is doing great, you guys. And we have a little bit of help from Henrietta with the mayonnaise there too. All right. <laughs> Actually, it's time to work on uh, updating that ax. So that and our backpack will be the first goals. Oh, and we're gonna need some fodder because it's another rainy day. And Ivy! <laughs> Ivy, do you wanna come with us today? You can follow us around everywhere. All right, we'll give her her little pet treat. And let's actually have Ivy come join us today because we're gonna go into town and see people and everything. All right, come on, Ivy. Oh, that's right, <laughs> it's raining. Ivy refuses to go with us on rainy days. I forget every time because I just think my dog should come with me everywhere. <laughs> oh well. Ivy Bear, you be a good girl. Keep an eye on the house. Meanwhile, down here, we'll go ahead and insert that. Grab some of the solid and supple lumber that we have got. What a nice morning. We do need to go buy some fodder, though. It is 10 in the morning, so the shop should already be open and ready to go, too. All right, well, let's not waste any time, friends. I think I have what we need for upgrading the axe. <gasps> a little chick! Oh, I do want to start having Henrietta be able to welcome some new members into the family. And I think we need to get our animal caretaking skill up higher to do that. So we might want to go ahead and maybe potentially adopt another family member for our chickens. We'll have to see how far the money goes today. Oh, what? <gasps> There's actually an event. Yes, we have a new event. Howdy, here to do some shopping. Actually, are you hungry by any chance? I made some stew for last night's dinner, but wouldn't you know it, I made far too much of the stuff. Oh, Angela. I can vouch for the flavor. It's good stuff, I promise. So how about it? Would you like some? Don't mind if I do. You're a doll, Emilio. Trust me, you're doing me a big favor. Oh, cute! So she's just like sharing some of the food with Emilio. My folks can't handle the rich foods like they used to, so they aren't eating as much these days. Oh, so maybe she wanted someone to eat her cooking because she feels a little sad that her, her folks are getting older. Oh, Angela, you're really winning me over. And little Cindy is hardly the type to wolf down her food. Never has been. 
Jack's the only one I can count on to eat any decent amount of food, but he likes to eat out sometimes. Oh, Angela, does she have a husband or has she kind of like become like in charge of not only running the general store and raising two children, a teenager and a young girl, but also like her aging parents at the same time? Angela, tell me that your shoulders are not the only shoulders this burden is put upon. The problem is he never warns me beforehand. I toil away over a hot stove and what do I get when it comes summertime? Sorry, mom, or supper time? Sorry, mom, I ate already. Can you believe it? I could have sworn I raised him to be more considerate than that. For me, it's really special to watch someone enjoy my cooking. But cooking together with someone is even more special. Angela, are you alone? I tried to teach Jack how to cook, but that boy couldn't tell salt from pepper. Noted. I'm hoping I'll have more luck with Cindy's lessons. And she's just kind of putting this all on Emilio, eh? How about you, Emilio? You ever thought about taking cooking lessons? Angela, you're so lonely! You're welcome to drop by my place in the evenings. I'd be more than happy to teach you what I know. Nice! In that case, maybe you could give me a trial lesson. And if I end up getting in the hang of it, we'll keep going. Would that be cool with you? <gasps> I really hope... Like, I feel like Emilio's a lot younger, but maybe I just need to spend some time getting to know him a little bit better. Is this a romance, maybe? Yeah, that sounds wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, thanks again for taking some of that stew off my hands. That's adorable. Oh. Oh, well, hello there, Siri. Would you be interested in a bowl of stew? There's plenty to go around. <gasps> I wonder if Angela, Sally, and I, for our little role play that we're doing that Sally's teaching us how to cook, could maybe, like, have a big night of cooking together? <gasps> I should make some soup and give some to Angela and some to Sally and say that that's, like, soup we made together. I love that idea. And if you guys aren't here for the role play, I'm not sure why you're here, but I hope you're having a good time. Oh, that's adorable. I'm making you both soup. Today! We're gonna do it today, friends! <laughs> Absolutely! First, I'm gonna buy some of these seeds before I forget, though. Um, and also get some fodder before I forget. Alright, so now we actually have Henrietta Constance Civil. Uh, civil yeah, Civil. Henrietta Constance Civil, or Hens. And then we've also got Bluebell, and then we have Little Kwantu. All right, so we have five animals who are going to need fodder, which means we'll go ahead and we'll get 10 fodder today. And I should probably grab... Oh, we have so many things we could buy. <gasps> All right, how long do things take to grow? How many days do I have left? Angela, if you could give me just a heckin' second. Oh, guys, next time we're absolutely... I don't think we'll be able to do it today, but next time, next time, we will absolutely be making her some soup, and we will be sharing our soup with her. So with that in mind, we do have, I think, eight days, like, basically a week left. Should I plant some potatoes? I feel like maybe we should go ahead and possibly plant some potatoes. The strawberries, I don't think, are going to be done in time, unfortunately. Radishes can be grown anytime. The fodder seeds, we do need to start working on. Beans, I would love to grow more beans as well. So, let's go ahead and we're going to get more potatoes today. Just a few. We'll get six potatoes and we'll start there. And then... We'll come back after I buy some of the other stuff to see if we've got what it takes. And Angela, we totally should have a cooking class together. Just one more push and we'll have made it through this day. No wonder she always is saying that. If she's like a single, a single mom, Jack's mother, is there a Jack's father involved here? We just have Jesse and Simon, his grandparents. <gasps> Angela! Oh, she's got so much on her shoulders, friends. I love being able to see these events, too. It's so important so you can really feel like you're growing closer to all the people in town. Alright, let's wiggle on up here. And Clemens, hey! <laughs> all of Hall looks so nice now that it almost feels like I've wandered into a whole new town. Hey! Hey there! Hey, Clemens! Alright, we gotta hey. talk shop. 
We're gonna upgrade to the silver axe. Yes, three thousand gold, and I happen to have a lucky me the lumber and the silver in my pocket. Let's do this. And then we do need a silver hammer for sure, but one thing at a time. Yes. And now we have a golden axe to look forward to. So that's gonna be a ton of fun. How much to upgrade the bag? Oh, 15,000 gold. Thank you, Clemens. I think I'm good right now. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have indeed updated our axe. I'm very excited about that because that's going to give us a chance to knock down some trees, which again, I, you know what? I never thought I would be the one to say that, but heck. Okay, so I'm actually going to check up in town to see if there's any more town requests real quick. And then next time we're going to go and we are, now that we have the axe, I guess we're going to work on cutting down the trees for the stable. We're really going to throw ourselves into that. And also baking soup to have a soup lesson. Ooh, two oysters. I will do my best to try to make that happen, Iori. I think I actually have some oysters inside of my house. So we'll try to remember to do that by the end of the day too. But all right, so we are off to make some soup for Angela and Sally. Hopefully they'll enjoy it and to pick up a few more things to go ahead and plant on the farm. So if you guys could do please leave a like for the amazingly adorable Angela and her gigantic pots of soup that she doesn't have enough family to eat. Oh my gosh. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. I'll see you guys next time.